is from www.makemegenius.com. If you want to see more science videos, go to www.makemegenius.com. Oh, yeah, it is free. So you're going to www.makemegenius.com for science videos. Oh, it also has lots of interesting facts and PowerPoint presentations for children. Oops, that must have hurt. Be more careful while crossing the road next time, will ya? Luckily, your sense of sound saved you from an accident. Did you know that we are blessed with five special senses that help us live in and enjoy the world around us? Even though you don't know about them, you just used all of them just now. Let's see, you used your sense of sight to look. You used your sense of taste for the ice cream before you dropped it. Sense of sound, thankfully, when you heard the car's horn. You used your sense of touch, unfortunately, when you stepped on the thorn. Your sense of smell was what made you want to cross the road in the first place. These five senses are very important to us. They let us feel the world around us in five different ways. Different parts of our body work together for us to be able to look, smell, taste, hear, and feel. Would you like to learn more about them today? Well, let's count them once again. Five senses for us to celebrate. Feel, hear, look, smell, and taste. Wow, that was a neat poem. But you want to know more about the senses, don't you? Let's talk about our sense of touch first. When you feel something, you use your sense of touch. But touch is more than this. From head to toe, you feel the sense of touch through the entire surface of your skin. You can feel the hot and cold, pain and pressure, all through your skin. Skin is where it all starts. Your skin has many layers. The innermost layer is called dermis. Dermis has millions of nerve endings. These nerves can send and receive information to your spinal cord and brain. The spinal cord and the brain can tell you what to do next. Let me tell you something else. Touch is not just one sensation. It's four sensations. The sensation of warmth and the sensation of cold. The sensation of pressure, which tells us whether a thing is soft, smooth, or rough to the touch. And finally, the sensation of pain, which can alert us to dangers. Oh no, not again. You're lucky it didn't sting you on your face. You see, not every part of your body is equally sensitive to touch. Some places, like your fingertips, face, and lips, have more nerve endings than others, so they can feel more than others. Do you see it? Well then, let's talk about seeing. Seeing is another of our senses that is amazingly sophisticated. We look, see, and watch the world around us, yet we never stop to think how. Well, yes, it is obvious that our eyes do the seeing part. But how exactly? Did you ever wonder about your sense of sight and how it works? I'll show you. Your eye is almost like a ball. The dark circle in the center of your eye is called an iris. The small black spot in its center is called the pupil. Very well. The pupil is like a window of a room. It can open wide or shut narrow to let just the right amount of light come inside the eye. You can see it yourself. Go to a dark room and your pupil becomes bigger to allow more light in. If you move to a well-lit place, the iris will shrink to allow only the required amount of light in. This light passes through the cornea, the aqueous humor, and lens to fall onto the retina. The retina is a super sensitive surface with lots of optic nerve endings. These nerves take the upside down image from the retina to the brain which must first invert it and then make sense of it. The pupil and the lens continuously keep adjusting so that you can see the most clear image of the world. For some people, these adjustments are not enough, but these problems can easily be corrected using glasses. So if you need them, get them. And if you already have glasses, well, then wear them. 
That's smart.